Hey, welcome back to the channel. I've talked before a lot about what a boon to your power and your distance it is if you could get the club to drop into a shallow and inside slot coming down. Approach the ball from the inside coming into square. Maybe be able to hit up on your drives a little bit more. And for some people, it's a massive distance bonus, sometimes up to 50 yards very quickly. But often watching videos like this from all different teachers try to explain to you how to get shallow, you know, it's like wishing one hand and in the other, it can be really hard to get there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video again. So right after this, let's talk about a few reasons that you are unable to change your kind of steep over the top outside in habits like the average golfer has and why you can't get shallow and to the inside on your downswing right after this. Hey, I'm Steve. I hope you'll continue to support the channel by heading over to my website, hititlonger.com for over a hundred more great free articles and videos and maybe buy a really helpful product while you're there. All right, let's look at a few reasons why you can't get the club shallow and on the inside. All right, the first couple ideas have to do with the battle, the struggle between perception and reality. So first let's look at using our hula hoop. The average golfer is too vertical with their downswing and often outside to in. And this can be a real sap on power and distance and distance efficiency. And of course, a lot of people will slice it from this downswing too. So to get shallow and on the inside, we would make need to make the hoop positioned more like this and more like that. Okay, so in principle, we understand where we need to get to, but of course you're having a hard time with it. A lot of people have a really hard time with getting there. First of all, perception versus reality, like I mentioned, most people are not prepared to feel how low that club needs to be in the slot. Now, we'll take a look at the swing that I made in the intro and you see the club is, the shaft is neatly shallowing from the top of the swing and kind of falling into that slot position uh, down just above my right forearm, my trail forearm. Um, but for the average guy who's up here, coming down, that's going to feel almost like you're letting the club fall almost down to the turf. And so it can be really scary, the feeling of coming in this shallow, um, because it's going to feel five times more than what you are probably guessing it would be. So it's something like letting the club fall way, way down here like this. Uh, Part of it as I'm using a little bit of an external rotation here at the shoulder and the upper arm combined with a little bit of an early turn and we can get that club to neatly kind of fall. So another thing is how far from the inside it's going to feel like. I can tell you most people also underestimate how much it needs to feel like it's coming from the inside. So you might be perceiving, oh, I'm going to lay a stick down on the driving range because Steve and all these other guys on YouTube told me, hey, lay a stick down maybe, okay, and maybe try to swing on this path, and yet you're still having a hard time. For some of you, you may need to have the sensation like you're hitting at a full diagonal. Just to get the club coming one degree from the inside, that's how different perception and reality is. You might need to feel like you're doing that. That extraordinary amount, not only is it more than you anticipated, but it also makes the striking of these range balls very precarious, very spastic, uh, very uncoordinated and clumsy. And that is the third reason that you're not getting shallow into the inside because you're simply not allowing yourself to weather the storm. Most people just have too much self-preservation too much ego to where even in practice they can't get themselves to swing 
the correct way. They can maybe budge the needle a little bit, but not enough to get done a good self-improvement project. So what you might do here is just practice swinging up and down that stick line. So there I'm just taking a, a small club and a small easy swing. And let's see, I'm going to try to take it back on, you know, more of a straight arc. And then I'm going to come back and return on the orange stick line, something like this. Okay, so here I've got a reading on the track man of uh, eight degrees inside to out. So quite a bit inside to out. And if you're outside in, that's actually a really good place to start an exercise like this. Of course, it'll feel just incredibly, incredibly loopy. But there's an inside out draw right back to the target line. And that one is also eight degrees from inside to out. So I'm swinging quite a bit inside to out on these small swings, which is also a fourth thing. So we've got, let's review, we've got, it's really hard to get the feeling of shallowness because it's so down on the ground halfway down. It'll feel like you're below your waist, almost at knee level coming in, when it's really not true. It'll also feel like you're coming in on the diagonal, which you're not actually doing, because the nature of the curve will just trick your brain into feeling like that. Now that's going to make you generally tend to hit a lot of chunk shots behind the ball. And so once you've hit your fifth chunk in a row, you might be right on the right track and a good teacher might say, man, that looks so much better. Keep it going. But of course, your ego's getting bruised because you're hitting six inches behind the ball. And that's not very fun. So you have the last thing in, another reason golfers can't get shallow. They simply don't have enough early turn to start the downswing, get the chest really turning aggressively early. And what that does is it allows the handle of the club to work more out instead of down. And when it works more out and around you on an arc, the club center of mass and the head will try to fall in line with that direction of pull and it'll automatically make it shallow. But if you don't add the extra shoulder turn, the chest turn rotation in, uh, and most people don't have enough chest and uh, shoulder rotation through the ball. So what happens, the club's gonna more drop down here and your effort to get this, and the club shaft is actually gonna steepen and you're gonna come down and you're going to hit the ground about six or eight inches behind the ball and not have a very good time. So we add all these three things in. Turn. Let this arm kind of turn this way and turn the chest. And if we can do that really, really super slow, it's going to look something like this. I had to go really slow so I could get some kind of coordination going with those three ideas all together. Now you don't have to do all three of those projects at once. You could narrow them down into maybe three little sub drills. Number one, where you kind of work this little move here. You could also just hit some balls up and down this orange stick line to get the feeling of coming from the inside. It's also a good start and you can do Lots of exercises where you turn and throw the club around the left center field like that. So those three kind of little side projects will help you now start to coordinate all three moves in one. Just keep in mind, feels really extreme and on top of it feeling five to one extreme, it's also recommended that you do exaggeration in your exercise. And that's really gonna make you hit the ball poorly at first, be very clumsy and uncoordinated at your first 100 attempts or so. So short club, small swing, have patience, weather through the storm, 
get a good educated pair of eyes on you or get some video of yourself so you can see that it, you are making a difference and it's just going to come with time and repetition. All right, I'm going to go back to work on bringing this club in shallow and from the inside. But hey, I'm Steve. Thanks so much for watching. And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.